Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And I've got a little surprise for you guys today. I have managed to find the video that I thought was lost due to the fire a couple months ago. Buried deep within one of my backup hard drives. So, Joshy boy, I got a little challenge for you. Since... Since you seem to be calling me out as a liar, saying that I didn't put any commentary in this video, I will be playing this video, the original video, in its entirety on this channel as a re-upload. Now, here's the challenge for you. You can uh, remove the copyright strike and find out if the videos match or not. And at this point, I'm sure you find that they will match, or you can try to uh, hide your stupidity and strike this one down, but that'll just count against you in the end. So, why don't you live up to your name, douchebag, accountability for all, and hold yourself accountable for your mistake. And you know what, buddy? We all make mistakes, and all you have to do in this case is remove the copyright strike, admit you made the mistake, and we all can move on from this. However, if you're too much of a wuss to own up to your mistake and not remove the copyright strike, you know how, well, you know how copyright strikes go. Since I've already won the uh, counterclaim, it's going to be back in the, up in less than 10 business days anyway. So uh, either way, it's back up, and uh, in either case, you've either made a mistake or you're a flat-out liar or uh, any combination of those. So do the right thing. Take off the copyright strike, and it'll all be forgotten in this case. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and roll the beautiful bean footage of this video that Josh says I didn't put any commentary on. Hit it! <laughs> Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's a Friday the Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. Today we're looking at this odd-looking sort. His name is Josh Abrams, a.k.a. Accountability for All. Oh, that probably just means accountability for everybody else but him. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this particular man-child right here. Accountability for everybody else but him. This is a truly unlockable man. My last moving picture, we looked at a butterfly boy and a goat boy. Them two was fun to laugh at. They weren't very smart. But Josh? Ooh, he goes around talking down to people, dismissing people, being passive-aggressive deliberately trying to get people fired or sent to jail. That takes a special kind of depravity that can only be appreciated by the likes of the North or members of the Red River Reynolds gang. Also, what the hell is wrong with his face? It looks like when he was making him God's thumb smudge his head or something. Seeing this waddling piece of garbage wind up in the clink warms my heart. By the way, this is only my third video, but I sincerely want to thank y'all for this warmest of welcomes y'all have given me. This is only my third video, but I'm up to 80 subs, and my first video has over 1,500 views. I can't thank y'all enough. Help keep me growing by subscribing and taking that there like button and doing anything you like to it. Like it, dislike it, poke it with a stick. Whatever tickles your fancy. Anyway... Let's round us up some fraud eaters. What's going on, guys? Josh, the accountability for all. And today we're at the uh, Sherman R. Walker Correctional Center here in St. John's Parish, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I 
Oh, did I forget to mention that PayPal Patty is in this video too, and he also gets arrested? Well, now that's more fun right there. Get twelve rounds, guys. I want to match right off the QB. Twelve rounds. Twelve rounds. Twelve rounds. Oh my God! Is that what modern cameras look like? Wow! In my day, all we had was these cameras on stands. You pull the string, there'd be a big explosion, and then you have to reset it. Couldn't take another picture for an hour. Wow! Things are pretty nice right about now. Do we pick it up? Yeah. Are we supposed to pick the phone up? Yeah. Hello? It is Deputy John speaking. I can help you. Uh, I don't know. The phone was ringing and there was no one in here. I didn't know if we should pick it up. Yeah, I just happened to notice that you guys are walking around the front lobby and I just want to know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, no, man. You're very nice. We're all set. Thank you. So you mind telling me what you're doing in the front lobby? Uh, I do mind. Um, it's you know, I'm just taking a peek, man. But thank you. We're video cameras. Uh, is that is this a public place? Yes, it is. All right. So then um, we're not doing anything illegal. So we'll just get back to what we we're doing. Have a great night, sir. Whoa, Nelly. If I had a passive aggressive meter, it would have just busted. Wow, I'll tell you what, this guy is completely unlikable. People like him, I'd love to just drag out, tied down to a West Texas fire ant hill, and wait until he's just bleached bones in the sun. Now, why would you want to give those fire ants indigestion like that? What do they ever do to you? Look at the cameras. <laughs> no drinks or food bags for us to stop the fight in the lobby that they came here. So one of the cars that was there before is gone now. We will no longer be doing fingerprinting duty cool a little bit. They called us. They called us. <laughs> so this is public. It says visitors entrance. Well, keep that in mind, son. You may need some visitors soon. Of course Josh Abrams would be uh, auditing a jail or a prison or something like that. I mean, he's just wanting to know what his future accommodations are going to be like. I mean, it's only natural for his, his stupidity. So it says, do not enter authorized personnel. I think it's beyond that point. Entrance. Yeah, well, the visiting, so... That sign is like in a weird way. We'll stay here and film him. It does say, it does say visitor's entrance. So we'll ask him if this is the visitor's entrance. Is there no one in there? No one in it. Is that, is that door open? No name, did you try that door? 
Oh, here you go. Oh, so it's open right now? Looks like it. Oh, I didn't realize it was open. That's a hidden door. Well, let's see. You find a secret door at a sheriff's office. And your inkling is to go in? Ooh, boy, son. You is something else. What does it say? Oh, it's cold in here. It's super cold, huh? This is so little. Wait, look at that blue line. That's a pretty blue line, huh? This is so little and so cold. This is where the disease spreads. I'm out of here. <laughs> It's really cold in there, especially for a small contact, small place. Doesn't seem like the best place to park. What's going on, man? Um, we don't really need any help. Thank you, though. Called out here and advised that you guys were asked to leave the lobby and you refused to do no, so. No, asked us to leave the lobby. Oh, that's interesting because I have it on film. Okay. Identify yourself. My name is Bryce McClendon. I'm a deputy. Who are you? I'm just an independent journalist working on a story. That's awesome. Hey, what's Identify going on, guys? Yourself, guys? Hey, how's it what's going? What's going on, man? How are you guys doing today? Doing Not too bad. How are you? All right. What can we help you with? Um, we're just working on a story. Okay. Okay, that's fine. But you are required to ID yourself, so, just like I'm required have, to ID so yourself. Do you have probable so cause to believe? So we just like to check out public buildings and see what goes on, especially with the coronavirus, um, to see how people are responding, places that are staffed higher, like with the public responses, with the, um, the public officials' responses to it. Okay. So we just come around and, and check out public buildings and public officials. Okay. Could you understand how a correctional facility was you filming for security reasons that would make people nervous? Well, while they're going, I'd like to show you my video because you said they, they asked us to leave. My question. See, we're communicating, so when I say something, I'd like a response to what I'm what, saying. What, what, what's your question? Ever notice this about fraudsters? They try and act like they some sort of authority. They some sort of business people. They some sort of journalist. Somebody to be respected. Somebody who knows their rights. Activists. But yeah, you try to have a conversation, and they got no tact, no decorum. They're screaming over each other. Like you're at the back of the pool hall at 2 a.m. Do you see how you guys filming a secured facility could make you guys have nervous? identification on you? Um, so in a public access point, I guess I, I wouldn't be able to see that. Like if I was like, you know, staking out in front of the security ops hey, when I, and when I pulled up, this gentleman was facing the secure gate. Yeah, well, we were going to the visitor's entrance. We went in the visitor's entrance. That's why we went over there. And then we walked over here. Which vehicles did y'all drive here? I mean, we don't have to answer that question. You're right, I mean, sir. You're absolutely right. I appreciate I, you recognizing this, that. This is what you do have. Oh. Congratulations, say the United States of America, okay? And in America, you have certain rights and privileges, like the right to remain silent. Anything that you say can, it will be able to get you a court of law. You right. have the right to have an attorney present while being questioned. You don't have to afford an attorney when we give you back government expense. You have the right to stop and refuse those questions at any time you choose. Right. You understand the rights to which I've advised. Uh, am I under arrest? No, sir, but like I Are said. Are you Mirandizing me or just making me aware of my rights? Like I said, sir. You live in America, you're afforded certain rights that I just survived. Your, I'm going to move this way because that light's right in my head. All right, sir. So that's that's what we're doing right now, okay? So what can we help you with? Um, and if there's nothing that we can help you with, I would yeah, advise you if you could just go ahead I and think, I think we're all business. set, man. All right, I think we're good. Nice we're actually on our way out of here, but then right. you guys... Well, you guys, you guys nice came. Day, okay? I do. Thank you, man. I appreciate right. it. No and problem. you know what I do appreciate? Yes, sir. Most time we have uh, interaction with law enforcement. They'll ask us questions and stuff, but they don't normally like let us know what our rights are. Uh -huh. And you actually stated it perfectly. So I do appreciate the fact that you're letting people know what their rights are. Because sometimes yes, it's important to know. Some sometimes people don't know they have the right to be free from illegal search and seizure. They don't know that they have the right 
the Fifth Amendment right. So right. I appreciate you of notifying well, listen to us me about too, that. Okay? Also, with us doing our investigation, we do have the right to detain you until we figure out what's going on. Now, if you have you like probable to... cause or articulable right, suspicion that a me. felony listen has been committed. I'm not going to go to back. I'm I don't feel you comfortable with you flanking me. Listen to me. I'm just going to stand over here and create some space. Look, I'm not trying to go back and forth with you on the law. You too? Please don't touch me. I'm not trying to go back and forth with you on the law. All right, You may know more of the law than I do, but I can do stuff like that to tell you to figure out what's going on. Like, you don't want to identify yourself, okay? Well, so that, you have to have me... probable cause okay, to, but to be you're, you're identified. You're at a, you're at a, you're at a secure, secure facility. And that's the point. You know Listen what I'm, you know what, that's no, the point of this you video. Keep on talk, you keep on talking over me. Again, officer, I apologize. You're, see, you're trying to have a serious conversation like an adult. You ain't going to get that with these feral raccoons. Me. And I understand that you, whatever you're trying to do, you have a certain no, motive. No, and I'm trying to help. I'm trying to figure this out, okay? Yeah, so if you don't mind, What's your name, man? can you guys just go ahead and go? Or we can, um, or we can if, go keep on doing if our we're being trust, If we're being trespassed and it's a lawful command, we'll have no choice but to do so. All right, sir. Well, y'all have a nice day, okay? All right, man. Take All it right. easy. Appreciate you it. What's your name, sir? Deputy Webb. Deputy, Deputy Webb. Webb. Thanks, man. I appreciate right. it. See you later. Isn't, isn't it uh, public footage? So I can see, right? Are you, you going to refuse me of that? You can so, see no, it. Check, you can check it out on YouTube for sure. I'm just trying to see it. Can I get a car with, with your YouTube name? Uh, I'll give you my YouTube channel name. It's called Accountability for All. Now, I don't carry cards with me, especially when it's raining because they could get wet. I, I do have identification on a person that I don't wish to provide. You don't wish to provide. Yeah. I understand. Do you, have, do you understand? Do you understand? I am at a public building and I'm filming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're having a conversation. You're not going to just quit telling me what's going on and okay. talk over me, okay? Uh -huh. I say That's something, you respond and that's first. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, he's asking if he can smoke because some public facilities have no smoking policies. Well, we're in the parking lot. Yeah, we just didn't know because where I'm from, I'm not going to say where that is, they, they don't allow you to smoke in uh, public facilities. I don't have one. You don't have one? I don't have one either. We're exactly actually in our First Amendment rights. You yeah, I don't have one. live on the internet right now. Every time I've been told that, thank you. I'm tracking what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's important so, to know, like, because this gentleman was to say, you know, he could detain us um, to conduct an investigation. But us can us conducting a constitutionally protected activity in a in, in public property that doesn't meet and that doesn't meet a burden for an investigation. There's no articulable suspicion that anything was going on. First of all, you can't articulate suspicion because well, probable cause. Suspicion in itself is and not. What a do I need for PC? For probable cause, yeah, on, you need to have articulable suspicion that a felony has been, is currently in a the commission of a crime. A felony. Crime. A felony. Oh, that was a good has one. been, is about to be, or has been, uh, is in, currently in the commission of a felony or a crime. Please allow him to pick up his phone. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You saw that? Well, all the, so us recording, let's just end this on a civil What's note. What's the goal? Us recording. What's the goal? Let's get to the goal. To, right now, to, to not have like this interaction. Interaction. this interaction. We just want to be free to do this without like you guys speaking to us. It's five in the morning, though, brother. Yeah, but there's no, there's no time frame in the Constitution. It's a bad time to there's pop no up time frame unannounced in the Constitution. and just say, hey, look, I'm going to film and it's going to be okay. What? It's five o'clock in the morning? And you guys are out there like a pack of hyenas at the sheriff's office. Oh man, you guys are dumb. We don't have a problem with you filming, but you came at five in the morning, it's a security issue. That's but there's no saying. time frame in the and Constitution. Then we come out and say, hey guys, what's your no, name? What's, what, what, what are you guys doing? You say, oh no, I don't want to talk to the what's cops. Your name That's what we're saying, man. No, I spoke to this, I spoke to, I spoke to this officer. You didn't give him your name. I, do, I don't need, but I don't need to give him my name. I did speak to him cordially. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this, this is typically what happens. We come out, make sure you guys are legit, not trying to break into or anything like that. Get your oh. name. That way, if we do have something later on, we have you guys on file. You guys can leave film all day you want. Because if you guys had a problem, well, can I be honest with you? We would be right. If right this now. contact we didn't no happen, we problem. were uh, we were about to leave. Right. What's the but you know what I mean? Just, I mean, but unfortunately, you, you we do have, have cameras like you guys have cameras, and we saw you guys. So we're like, hey, what's going on? We need to investigate before these guys leave. It you guys may be coming trying to get plans of the building. We don't know because you guys. Aren't what I can that. tell you is, is for this measure, okay that we have no ill will towards your facility. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb, but if I have ill will towards the facility, I ain't gonna readily just come out and admit to it.
I explained that we're private journalists working for content for a story, working on how things have changed so have post and present coronavirus. And say, hey, look, can I get, you may have brought you inside. Right, but I don't need to do that. That's sure. the whole point. So the back of my shirt says what? They say, they're your rights. If you don't use them, you lose them. These are my rights to do so. I don't have to announce myself. There's no time constraints in the Constitution. I, I didn't say that. I said maybe if you would have, they would have given more access. Let me explain something to you, okay? And, and I understand that, that you are well-educated. You understand what's going on. But there are proper ways to do so. You are you are afforded certain rights. We're just doing our job, just like you're doing your job. Now, we do have press officers who you could have talked to and could have gotten all this information from. There's a certain way to go about doing it a right way and there's a wrong way. This may ne not necessarily be the hold right on, hold way. On. You understand so what I'm that, that's a perfect there example. There is a way to go about it. So the way that you went about it caused all of this chaos. But it how do we how do we do these services? Like, so but if you, I was going to do a story you, you know where it's behind the it scenes, though, if I announce you know, that I'm coming, you know how to do then it. we're, it's going to be totally You guys go to our press <laughs> officer and you guys take care of it that way. Let me see if I get this straight. You think you can show up like a band of 10 screaming hyenas at 5 a.m. with shining cameras in your who farted caps? I think you're just going to sneak in and not be noticed by the sheriff's department and break up their nefarious activity. The money laundering behind the scenes. The cocaine they parting with from yesterday's bust. Yeah, I'm sure that's really going to happen. Thank God we got people like you standing in the way from total anarchy. You damn idiot. Right, but if, if, something's, if something's going wrong and we announce that we're coming, Did what about... Did you do that? Did you do that? But if I announce your I'm coming and something's happening... Because... I'm going to skip ahead a beat. They call me Bobby Hill. I don't know why. So you guys are from Texas? Because you look at yeah. like Bobby Hill. He, he called me Bobby Hill. <laughs> I love it. What's your name, Webb? Nice to meet you, Webb. Nice to meet you, sir. I don't know your name, but I, I do. Right See, this is, this is the good part, right? Because now we're having uh, a, a dialogue, right? We're having an intelligent dialogue. I've had a dialogue, for the most part, is. I've had a dialogue with these gentlemen. You are sorry. You've been liking to hear yourself talk, so you just... Uh, you, I mean, what you, what well, I can hear myself talk if I want. It's my First Amendment what right. Like, What's your goal? What's your goal? I don't have to answer that question. Find assholes like this so guy right here. That is our goal. Well, no, 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 you're nice. Asshole. You're nice. Yeah. Back and forth. Well, no, I actually disagree with you. I think he's nice, but I think he's no, an this asshole. No, this is the guy who did this but to my phone. Because right we have to. But this oh, guy stepped on my phone? phone? Yeah. He just stepped back on on purpose. This guy didn't do it? Well, look at here. PayPal Pat is here. I'll give you one guess as to why they call you Bobby Hill. I don't have a problem with you, but now you have to go, like, talking shit, man. I don't get it. What's that? Right now. Because I like to hear myself talk. Do I not have the right to speak? You absolutely do, but you say you want a dialogue, but there's no dialogue taking place. I had a conversation with him, and I listened to what he had to say. Did I not have a dialogue with you, Officer Robert? You're dismissed. Don't go back to work. Go back to work. Go back to work. Get out of here. You're wasting resources. Go do something. Right. Did you serve in the military, man? Yeah. I guess what he's yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. If you did, well, thank you for your service. It looks like you served in the military. Listen, guys, I, I don't oh, understand okay. you have something like you're wanting to You mean more security like this? Like this guy? Like, you're going to so deal with that, right? Yeah, we the people, brother. We the people. All right, perfect. All right, man. All set then. You understand a safe way to do something. This it was not unsafe until guys with guns and AK again. clips showed up. Like you guys again, made it unsafe. Again, again, you're not listening. To your I don't need to listen to you. You are not in a position to give me direct. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Until you started being an asshole. Now I'm done with you. The SWAT teams here. Hey, you were actually. Um, very professional. Are you in the right, man. Are you we do appreciate that. Yeah. I'm a citizen also. That, that's the whole point, man. Why are you crass? Man? I don't guns. Because you build guns? Yeah, I know what kind of guns I was building. Then you wouldn't have said AK or banana clips. I said AK. Those are, those are 30 mag rounds for AR-15s. I'm going to finish my story. And I'm done talking to you. Oh, I'm so glad you're done. Thank you. I don't want to shake hands. But nobody asked me to leave, so if you want me to leave, I'll leave. That's not this part. Okay. So he's not ordering us to leave. He's saying if we're not, if we don't mind, I'm and if, not, I'm not trying to be mean right. Here, okay? So he's but good, we man. Do have, we do have stuff. You should that we take have some pointers from him, man.
Yeah. You want me to leave? Go do I'll go, it. I'll go to the road. I'll go to the east, man. Okay, you too. How's it going, Sergeant? How are you, man? Are you the supervisor right now? Yeah. All right, so um, we were just having a conversation with this gentleman. He demanded identification. Um, because it's our right, we refused. He didn't have any probable cause. We're just here working on a story, checking out a public place. Right. And, and I don't appreciate, um, the first of all, the tone in which he spoke to us. Secondly, trying to violate our Fourth Amendment rights. So if all you right. could just have a, a, you know, a coaching conversation with him to let him know that he sworn out to the Constitution. It's important that he defends that oath. But as of right now, this right here is a, is a secure facility. Well, no, this right here is a public we're area. We're telling y'all to leave. Oh, so you're trespassing us from a public place. We're telling y'all to leave. So that's that's it. Y'all refusing. That's refusing lawful. So that's a lawful order. Come on, hey, hook him up. No, we're going. You gave us a lawful order. We're out of here. You have the right to remain silent when you can check interviews against you in court of law. Sure, you asked us to leave. You have to give us an opportunity turn on, to leave. Turn on, come on. Let's not make this done with this All right, you guys proved your point. Hold this for me. Hold this for me. Yo, hold this. Sherman Walton Correctional Center. You didn't give us time to leave. Well, that's a great way to end this video. Anyway, I can tell by that sundial it's time to bid adieu. Time to put some beans on the fire, a little bourbon on ice, cuddle up in a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Until next time, I bid adieu. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to Fraud or Roundup. He does some pretty good work over on his channel. So let's go ahead and encourage him to make more videos and keep it up because we need all the people we can get in our community. Well, now, there you go. There was some of my commentary in there along with Father to Roundups. I mean, this video was meant to help Ex give uh, Fraud and Roundup some exposure. So given that Josh said that both of those videos were at 100% and clearly they're not, I mean, perhaps you made a mistake, Joshy boy. Maybe you can uh, remove the copyright strike now and admit to your mistake, or shall we just let this uh, copyright strike run out the clock and still end up back up in the next few days. Either way, you are still in the wrong and it's still going to be up in the back up in the next few days. So just deal with it and move on. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.